A few days ago, I watched Baby Driver, a movie that I thought looked like complete fluff judging by the trailer. That is, until I saw the name of the director, Edgar Wright. For those of you that don't know, this guy is the director of Shaun of the Dead, The World's End, and one of my most favorite comedies of all time, Hot Fuzz. So I retracted my initial judgment and decided to give the movie a chance, because no matter how simple a movie looks, Edgar Wright takes it and turns it into something special. So the story for Baby Driver is that Kevin Spacey is a crime boss who coordinates a bunch of heists. He has his thugs that execute the robberies, and the getaway driver is a kid called Baby. Uh, yeah, that's what he's called. Now, Baby decides to leave this life behind. Okay, you know what? This sounds too weird, and I refuse to call him that throughout this review because it sounds silly. So instead, I'll just call him b -bye. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Now, b -bye decides to leave his life behind, and unfortunately, that's where he starts to run into a lot of trouble because, as we all know, people who leave organizations like this don't leave that easily. So consequentially, b -bye is on the run and is trying his very best to survive. Oh, and there's a girlfriend character in there somewhere too. Now, what did I like about this movie? Well, the first thing you'll notice is that the pacing of 80% of the scenes is dictated by the song that is playing at the time. And apparently, the songs used in this movie were planned from the very beginning during the script making process. So as a result, they are designed to work hand in hand with each scene, and in my opinion, they weren't overbearing and they were a good fit 90% of the time. Also, just the style and craftsmanship that went into the directing for the action and normal scenes was fantastic. There are several shots throughout the movie that are done in just one take, and if you like to analyze filmmaking techniques like me, then you will really enjoy and appreciate this. Speaking of filmmaking techniques, Edgar Wright applies his close-up shots and fast-paced editing to the gear shifts, steering wheel, and pedals, and that makes the car chase scenes adrenaline-filled as well as entertaining. Also, this movie doesn't just have awesome car chases, it also has an awesome on-foot sequence, and it was beautifully directed, edited, choreographed, and again, adrenaline-filled. And it really has you on the edge of your seat. Now, seeing as this is an Edgar Wright movie, you would naturally expect some comedy too. And I thought the comedy was going to be the weakest aspect of this movie given its subject matter, and the trailer. But it was actually really funny, and it was far better than any of the other toilet humor infested comedies that Hollywood are coming out with nowadays. The scene that got the most laughs out of me is when one of the thugs has to get the team some Michael Myers masks, and what he ends up getting isn't exactly what they asked for. However, during the last act of this movie, something happens and the movie drops all sense of comedy and it becomes really serious. And this tone shift works unbelievably well. Alright, so I've talked a lot about the good stuff, now it's time to talk about the bad stuff, and I have three problems with this movie. Now, the acting from pretty much everyone is great. Everyone turns in an appropriate performance, except for Jamie Foxx. Now, don't get me wrong, I do think he was good, but he is supposed to be playing the unhinged character of the group, and I thought he was too underplayed. Now, his actions were pretty lethal, and that's down to the script, but his mannerisms and attitude wasn't, and that is down to Jamie Foxx's acting, and I think he played it too subtle here. And that's a shame, because I think he can pull off a great performance as a deranged killer, but unfortunately, I could always tell that he was just trying to act intense, but it never felt genuine. He just never seemed like he was off the rails, and it all bows down to the fact that he was too subdued. My second problem is the romance. I know it's an important part of the movie's plot, and it does lead to some pretty intense scenes, but seeing it develop is where the film dragged to me, as it would just keep going. Not to mention that the girlfriend decides to run away with a guy she essentially just met, so in my book, that pretty much makes her the dumbest character out of the whole entire movie. And finally, my third and biggest problem is how it ended. Whilst the movie's climax was underway, I didn't even realize it was happening. I just thought it was another action scene in the middle of the movie. So when it was over and the movie started to conclude, I felt kind of ripped off. And it's a shame because if the movie was about 10 to 15 minutes longer, then this would be a solid film that I would easily recommend that you see in the cinema. But unfortunately, the abrupt conclusion makes this high quality movie end in a way that feels more appropriate as a disposable rental. Something you can watch at home and then forget about. The movie's foundation was great, and it deserved a better conclusion. Instead of making me think, wow, that was awesome, I was instead like, meh. And that is not a final impression I should get, as this movie is anything but meh. But unfortunately, the ending is this movie's biggest downfall, and although I enjoyed pretty much all of it, my final score for Bieber, uh, Baby Driver is a very enthusiastic 7 out of 10. It is practically knocking at the door to an 8, but that ending really felt bittersweet and anticlimactic. So that's my review of Baby Driver. If you guys have seen the movie, be sure to let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you haven't seen the movie and you have any questions about it, then feel free to comment and I will answer you as soon as possible. Also, let me know if you want me to do more of these quick movie reviews outside of my Versus videos, because some movies like this which I would like to talk about can't be compared to anything. At least that I am aware of. Also, I'm going to go and watch Scott Pilgrim, because I just recently figured out that Edgar Wright directed it, and now I've gotta go see it seven years after it was made. As always, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll catch all of you next time. Take care.